Hey everybody, Bat Merc here. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing Atoma by Dark Tranquility. Um, just so, so you know, uh, Dark Tranquility is a, a band that formed back in like 1991 or so. Uh, I, I believe this is the album, their 12th album, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, they started ba way back then in uh, a town called Gothenburg, Sweden. And um, they basically pioneered their own genre of metal, which is called Gothenburg Sound. And it's basically where they combined um, melodic guitars, kind of similar to like Iron Maiden or, you know, uh, Judas Priest or a lot of those melodic bands uh, from the new wave of British heavy metal. They combined that with death metal. So you got like Morbid Angel, Cannibal Corpse. So, you, you know, you put those two together, then you throw in some like um, Scandinavian style, like uh, folk into the melodies. So you kind of get that, you know, so you get like the aggressive vocals, the aggressive guitars, the melodic guitars, all that stuff. So, Basically, they, they created, like, I, I, ideally, like, the greatest genre of metal, you know, basically you could think of. Because, I mean, you have the melodies of the guitars, and then you have the aggression, and, I mean, it's just basically the best thing you could think of for metal, you know. I mean, let's be real. But anyways, they started the genre, then, uh, uh, along with a couple other bands, In Flames and At The Gates. So, and that's my favorite uh, genre of metal, so I usually uh, review a lot of the... Um, bands from that from that genre um i love you know metal in general like i, I believe there's a subgenre of metal for every style of music any any style of music that you could think of that is not metal there's a fucking metal style for it you know but you know i'm really into these these bands a lot they're really cool um from my understanding uh the singer of uh dark tranquility the first singer was um anders from in flames and then he he left and uh joined in flames and then the uh singer of this band he was playing guitar he's his um michael stan he switched over and he started singing and uh anders and michael they both got their own style so it's pretty it's pretty cool i would actually like to hear anders from flames come over and do a song with them again and you know do guess vocals on you know on the newer albums they never they never did that that'd be kind of cool so that's a little background on this um this band's got like a bunch of live dvds dvds you can pick up all kinds of stuff they tour like non-stop. These guys like this always on tour, so you can usually see them. This album came out about three years ago, so it's technically their newest one. But yeah, like they, 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 they come around a lot. They put on a great show. They have tons and tons of material. Like, I don't know. They're just a really underrated band. So that's a little background on them. Uh, from my understanding, the drummer, uh, I think, wrote this album. So they, you know, they don't have any really egos, you know. They want to switch it up, have like a new dimension of sound. Maybe they'll have someone else in the band write something, so... There's no real eagles in this band. Uh, they're very, um, this, this band is very uh, classy sounding, you know. If there was like a classy, mellow death band, or melodic death metal band, it would be this one. They just constantly put out, like, quality material. Um, so, yeah, we can get right into the album art. Um, a lot of the times, the guitar player, I think his name is Nicholas Sundin, um, he does the artwork. So this is kind of like abstract, symbiotic type, otherworldly, alien type art. Uh, this is the uh, special edition one I picked up. Hopefully one day I can get it on vinyl. I don't have any vinyl now, but that's an endeavor I wish to tap into in the near future. So that's some of the artwork like that. Um, the other CD right here, it's actually a bonus track with three other songs. Uh, we can get into that at the end of this uh, video. And uh, yeah, that's there's that and then... There's the um, track listing. The first song on here is uh, Encircled. This song just starts out fast and like just brings you right in. Like It's like a got a classic Dark, dark Tranquility song, but there's something about it that seems a little different. I can't put my finger on it. It's just a feel you get when you listen to it. You can feel it. Um, but it's it's really cool. Like It's a perfect song on the album to open up with. Uh, the second song on here is the uh, title track album, Atoma. This is a catchy song with uh, cool, clean vocals. And some of the verses... Um, and the chorus have these aggressive vocals on them too, so you get a little balance with the vocals. And um, yeah, it just a, has a real cool, like melodic, uh, electronic interlude, like in the in the middle of it. Uh, the third song on here is "Forward Momentum." Uh, this one has some cool, like chuggy riffs in the intro, and then it drops into these sort of like soft verses, accompanied by clean vocals. Definitely like a soft headbanging song, and uh, it's got a, you know it's just like a classic Dark Tranquility style song. Yeah, the uh, the fourth one on here is called a. Uh, neutrality um this one right here it starts with this like dark melody and then the song is just like fast you know and uh 
It's heavy, it's it's catchy, it's melodic, you know, and it has these signature like dark tranquility drum beats. It's kind of like a, a fast punk beat this this band uses a lot. It's like do that do that do that do that do that do that like they put it in a lot of the songs and it's just it's awesome. I love hearing it like fast melodic, you know, death metal songs and they they put it in like a lot of their songs. I'd say like at least half their songs have that drum beat in it, which is cool. I'm down with it, you know, I'll never get sick of it. I love it. It's cool. Um yeah, so uh the next song on here is um the next song on here is uh Force of uh Force of Hand. This one right here, um this one has like a cool like galloping drum beat. Something that sounds a little different. Then it drops into this like heavy um drops into like heavy melodic ba breaks. And it picks up into these like fast beats too. There's also like a a cool like um like solo section in here. That's that's really uh it's really interesting. Uh the sixth song on here is uh Faithless by Default. Um, this one, you know, it has a big, like, like a bad, like, hard rock guitar riff, um, like, but it's Dark Tranquility style. Uh, the chorus is, like, deep with this, like, this intriguing, like, like, keyboards and effects that the, uh, Martin Bradstrom, the keyboard player, is doing, so he, he actually, like, I don't know, they're, they're all, they all hold their own weight in their band, but he actually brings a whole, like, dimension of sound to the band that, you know, really makes them, gives them their signature, I think. They've always had like pianos and things like that. I think I think from the very first album they were even doing that. But once he came in, that's when they like became like a whole like a complete you know band. So yeah, he really um he really like you know makes makes the band uh, have their like uh, signature sound. Uh, the next one on here is the Pitiless. I like that name. Uh, it's just like you know it's like a cool fast track with um with like some interesting guitar effects and uh, it's got like a real heavy heavy chorus. You know it's just like a heavy song. Uh, the eighth one on here is Our Proof of Life. Um, this one right here, um, this one is just like a slow, like, melancholic, uh, mellow death, like, rock song, you know? Uh, the singer, uh, Michael Stan, you know, he, he soars on the vocals in this one, and, uh, you know, the piano is add like a, you know, it adds like a great, um, great deal with the, uh, the, the vocals. Um, the next one on here is, um, Clearing Skies. This song has like upbeat parts, but also has like chuggy breakdown parts and like melodic, like it's melodic as fuck. Like the 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 melodic hammer-ons on the guitar and tremolo verses, they're just excellent. It's just like an excellent piece of sound. Um, and there's a cool like little tiny little like like a little build up at the end of the song. It's pretty cool. Um, the tenth song on here is uh when uh, the world screams. This is just like a, a dark tranquility fast style song. You know, it has like those. Kind of, kind of like those fast drum beats I was talking about earlier. And uh, the guitar melodies are fast. has a lot of chugs. has a melodic breakdowns. It's like another cool, heavy song on here. Um, the uh, 11th song on here is uh, Merciless Fate. This is, you know, it's just like a slow, heavy track. with You know, it's got these, like, interesting dark melodies. Um, the keyboards on this one, too, also, they, bl they blend good with the guitars, doing different things. And it's got some, some haunting uh, clean vocals, too, by... Uh, Michael Stain. Um, the twelfth song on here is uh, "Caves and Embers." This one I, I like a lot. Uh, this one, it um, it has like, it has some like awesome uh, melodies on the guitars on the intro verses. Uh, this is probably like the 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 chorus on here is probably my favorite on the album. You know, it's um, I don't know. It just just has like kind of has like a grunge sound to it, like the guitars, like some, but but then melodic death metal at the same time and he just says like in the chorus like being nothing you know doing nothing or doing nothing being nothing just the way he, he delivers the lines it sounds really cool um yeah and then uh like i was talking about it um this this special uh, edition one the digi pack right here it has a uh, three three specials uh uh three uh, three extra songs on it and uh the first the, the the first one on here is called the absolute just like a catchy electronica style song with vocals and guitars, it's all clean singing. It it sounds really cool. Um, the 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 next one on here is a time at a place. It, again, it's like a, a melancholic electronica song, clean vocals, guitars. It'll like, it'll like stay with you like a ghost. That song, the 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 vocals. You first listen to it and you're like, oh, it's, it's kind of cool, you know. But then after a while, you listen like this band grows on you. They they have their own sound. Like they 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 sound like different and you, you know you give you give them a, you give them a try you listen to them a couple times the yeah they'll really they'll really stick to you dark tranquility they're really addictive 
Um, this band made a bunch of albums, and then they came out with this one album, like kind of like in the first quarter of their career, or almost a third of the way through their career. It was called Projector, and that album had like some. Uh, he was experimenting with vocals, and they were using a lot of electronica stuff. And I don't know. A lot of the bands, a lot of the fans loved it, and a lot of the fans, I don't know if they didn't like it, but that was when the singer you could really hear his like clean style of singing, and he he has his own style of singing. So that I don't know. They, uh, th that was probably my favorite album. Um, so th he, after that, then they, they, it seems like they went a few albums where he just didn't sing anymore. He just did the screaming and the growling and the yelling, which is cool. You don't have to sing clean or nothing, but it always adds like a new dimension to the sound when the singer can do more, you know, especially with metal. Um, this album right here, Atoma, it kind of felt like a callback to that album, uh, Projector, where he was doing more clean singing. And I noticed too, when he does the clean singing, he doesn't he doesn't do it on a chorus. He does it in verses, so it doesn't sound like a radio pop feel or something like that. It don't really fucking matter if he does or doesn't, but you could tell he kind of doesn't do it on this album. He doesn't sing in the chorus. He sings in the verses to make it more kind of like progressive in some ways. But yeah, this is a, an awesome album. It's been out for a while. You can I'm sure you can get it from Best Buy or what have you. I also uh, picked up this beer right here. It's German. It's from one of the old German breweries. Uh, I think it's pronounced Weinstefaner, and the beer is called Vitus. It's a Weizenbach, so I'm thinking it's kind of like a uh, Hefenweizen mixed with like a dark beer. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give it a crack. Look at the smoke in there. Whew. Looks like that shit right there on the cover. Here we go. Mm, damn, that's good. Wow, that's no joke. That's 7%, 7 7.7. .7. That's probably one of the best beers I've ever had. No no shit. That's really I'm I'm going to have to <laughs> get one. Mm. Wow, that's some good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to have to give uh Dark Tranquility's latest effort, Atoma, two solid horns up and this right here this uh this Vitus, pick it up by Vinestefaner, 7.7 .7 in a big old bottle like that for like four bucks. To give that one too. The Vinestefaner, Vitus, two horns up. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, because we got daily content here on Metal Movies and Brewskies. Have a great night, folks.